Hey Dad, I guess this comes as a surprise to you that I'm writing this letter. You may be wondering why. I'm writing to you with words I never thought I'd find myself saying out loud. I'm writing to you as my heart is no longer heavy. I'm writing to you for your power over my life has no bearings in my life anymore. It's been 25 years since the day you walked into my life and 18 since mom left. I've been on my own for 18 years and I think I've learned to take care of myself. So don't worry, I'm not writing to you because I'm in any sort of trouble. Through all the years of raising me, you may have thought that you knew me. The truth is, I've always been a stranger to you. Perhaps it's time for you to finally meet the real me. So my name is Andrew Lee. And at 10 years old, you married my mother. I never knew my real father. As far as I knew, he was a scum who left my mom when she really needed him. But when she met you, I felt like my life changed for the better. I finally knew what it was like to have a father. We were a perfect family. You made mom the happiest I'd ever seen. And we were truly a perfect family. The three musketeers. On the surface, I was perfect. The poster boy. I did well in school. I was captain of the football team. I even had a beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> it's a shame you never saw who I was in school. You would have thought differently of me. I was the perfect boy who was anything but perfect. Shocking, isn't it? The power I had in school. People respected me, but most importantly, they feared me. I needed to do it. It was like I thrived off the power I felt from doing it. It was exhilarating. No one knew it was happening. No one would have believed Johnny, even if he told on us. I was the perfect student, the perfect son. This went on for months. I can't even remember when it first started or why it even started in the first place. I just know how it ended. On the 17th of July, 2000, our school made the announcement that Johnny Lee had committed suicide. Rumors spread that he killed himself because of the video. His family wanted to sue the school. That day was the first day when I knew I was doing something wrong. I knew I killed someone. I knew I did it because I thrived on the power and control I felt afterwards. I spent my days after with thoughts circling in my mind that I lost control. I'd gone too far. It was all my fault. You never realized what you'd done to me. The life I led because of you. Now it's time you realize that I wasn't the only one living a double life. You're not supposed to be drinking if you're picking me up. Hey, shut up lah. What's your problem, man? Yeah, I just thought mom was picking me up. Yeah, your mom would have picked you up if you wasn't sleeping around and hoarding with the boss. Dad. Huh? Dad. What, just because I got no fucking job, I have to do all her Dad. work, is it? Well, I got nothing Dad. else to fucking do I in my life. I told you mom wasn't huh? sleeping with anyone. Hey, wait, why you got a defender like that? Huh? Why, you're just protecting her, aren't you? Little goody two-shoes piece of shit. You're mommy's little boy, eh? Are we done here? 
Are we done here? Are we fucking done here? Can we go? Huh? Are you satisfied now? Here. You told me you had to work and you told me to pick up this little huh? brat of yours. I've had enough of you. Just let me go. Enough? Okay? What do you mean you've had enough? No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. You, 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 you I married you for go. 20 years. You ain't going anywhere. Joseph! Get in here. I'm tired, okay? Let me go! Let this song! Come in here! No, I'm not Joseph! Let's get in! Let, let me go! I'm tired of you! Fine! Piss off, you dumb bitch! Look here! Look here! You and I? You and I are gonna have a little bit of fun, you got that? Looks like even mommy doesn't want you. You spineless little brat. Hey buddy. This is spot, right? Um, make sure you have a good day, okay? Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey. Don't forget what we spoke about last night, okay? Um, I'll pick you up once you're done. Get some pizza and beers, perhaps, right? surface we were one happy family but I guess we all have our secrets you probably don't remember any of that that's the beauty of alcohol I was who I was because of you I finally understood why I needed that control and power why I thrived on it but I'm a different man now I have a wife who I love dearly and a two-year-old son and I hope to God he never turns out like me. I'll raise him better. I'm happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I have to thank you for that. I forgive you for the person you shaped me into. I needed to write to you after all these years because in finally forgiving myself, I was able to forgive you. I hope that someday you are able to forgive yourself. With love. He has a lot of dandruff right now. Come back, come back, come back. 
Yeah. Yes, that's a. It's a wrap.